that is more view on a rear view mirror that I ever had. And just in case you don't want to use video, you could use a re the regular mirror, just like that. Bam, it's good. You have both views, front view if you wanted. Bam, you can adjust the brightness if you want. You can adjust the how you, the camera right there is perfect. Love it. Uh, I did not buy this. Pelsey sent this to me. They did not pay me to, to, to do this video. If you guys ever needed evidence that getting a dash cam or mirror camera for your vehicle is a good idea, just look up on YouTube, dash cam compilation, and you will find out many reasons that you actually need one of these. All right, Pelsey has two sizes. They have a 10 inch and a 12 inch. Uh, my truck requires a 12 inch. The 10 inch is just a bit too small. I'm actually excited about this. Uh, this, the difference between this and a regular dash camera is this mirror actually becomes your rear view mirror. And just let you guys know, unboxing is at the end of the video. Last thing I wanted to add, you are, once you put your memory card into your computer, it is gonna give you a, a download the DVR player text copy that and paste that to uh to whatever your web browser is and then on the back of your unit there is a registration number and type that in fo follow the prompt then you uh then you could watch your footage anyone just can't grab your memory card and watch your footage they need the they need the exact uh, registration number along with this player so download this player on the mirror itself you could watch your footage straight from that without needing to download any player first test is we got to get this usb-c right there to go in here that's the 12 volt port i want to use so that's what we're going to do That is where I stand. Now I could. Just gotta vacuum up after I'm done. Like I said, that, that tool's handy, you guys. Take that off. That is the sky. Very good, I like that. Nice display. Dash cam, please format. Yes, format. All right, so next we gotta do the rear camera. And I'm actually gonna see what my options are for this.
ratcheting our wrenches come in handy. And there is my way in to the cabin. Right, so as you can see, I have a hole right there. Let's see if I can fish it through that. So mission accomplished. I was in, I'll get the light. Easily, actually, I was able to get that through here. So now we're gonna pull this line around this side. We're gonna follow the trim, the trim around the windows, then we're gonna go over there. It's, it's, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that, but it's that easy. just like that oh sorry I gotta tuck that in bam see it's all hidden see it's very easy you guys it really is So, let's finish uh, wiring that. First out of the box, you get the mirror. Now, this, it does not feel like a cheap mirror, you guys. This is actually pretty hefty. It does not feel cheap at all. And you also get in the box, the 12 volt power supply, glad it comes with this. You do need this tool to assist with hiding the wires within the seams of your interior without actually scuffing up or scratching the, your, uh, your interior walls. This does have a 32 gigabyte uh, memory card, an A1 memory card. Th these two get hooked up right here and it actually goes around your mirror and that's how it goes in. And here is the cable for the actual rear camera. This is a GPS. All right, so a few things I'm gonna make sure that you do is go into camera settings. I have this, uh, the, the light source frequency, 60 Hertz, loop recording three minutes. I have 2.5K to 1080P. In my opinion, 4K is a bit extreme and it uh, takes up that much more storage. I 2.5K is plenty for you, but you could go 4K at 1080p if you wanted to. The front ca the camera facing forward is 4K. The camera facing behind you is at 1080p. Wide dynamic range is on. Uh, it's recording, video watermark it, and rear mirror. Now, if you have both cameras connected, have rear mirror on because what's gonna happen is the camera that is facing behind you it's actually gonna be reversed. So whatever's on the left is actually gonna be on the right and vice versa. So I would actually do that immediately and put that feature on. Rear mirror, yes. So it's normal looking uh, through the mirror on how, you're gonna, how you see things. Trust me, put that rear mirror to on. Then if you go to uh, system settings, stream media on, uh, if you guys look at the, if you guys look at the instructions, I would read what each of these things do. Satellite information, that's useless to me. Voice control, time zone, English, speed unit, speed uh, unit miles per hour. Uh, I'd have the settings off for the sound because I don't need to hear beep every time I do something. And so, yeah, guys, this this camera is actually amazing and if you don't want this displayed uh just push the the button and you will have the regular mirror bam 
So, like, it's seriously as much, the mirror itself is a much wider view than my stock mirror in my truck, and I love having that option as well. The GPS, which I am not going to use, but the option is there if you really, really need that. They have the memory card slot, you have the AV, this is the, the jack for the rear camera, and you have your uh, USB Type-C uh, power source. I seriously wanted to test this out and see how this is. And since I, this device is awesome. I thank Winnie for, from Pelsey so much for sending this to me. Uh, I do recommend this, you guys. I will never use my stock mirror again. And I see, because I did buy a dash cam for my wife's car a while ago. And it does not do what this does. Which I actually have a second mirror right here. This is the 10 inch one, the 10 inch pro. I, I actually want to install this one onto my, uh, in my wife's car and use this one for my truck and so yeah it's fantastic you guys just the brightness if you scroll up and down over here you can adjust the camera to see how you, uh, you want it just in case if you need to point it down or up a little bit more here in the double camera view you actually have the real width of the each camera so it's a great product you guys i'll put this in the link in the description below besides all the cool features that this has Dash camera's main priority is for evidence of crashes and for evidence of anything. In case of something happens to you on the road, you have some sort of proof and this records on a loop. I have this set to three minutes. So in case of something happens, I could actually, uh, in case of something happens, I will have the footage. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.